Welcome to Whipcast. I'm Brian and today we'll be talking about reviewing proposals for your bioenergy research center before they are submitted to the JGI. Diving right in, let's take a look at the workflow for a BRC proposal. The life cycle of a JGI BRC proposal starts when it is created by a PI from a BRC. Once the proposal is submitted, the reviewers for a BRC are notified that they can begin their review. After reviewing the proposal, the reviewer can mark the proposal as approved. After the proposal is approved, the approval can be finalized and the JGI project management office will be notified. At this point, the JGI PMO can approve the proposal and the PI will be notified of the approval. If the BRC decides to not go forward with the proposal, it can be marked as rejected. The rejection can then be finalized and the PI will be notified. Until a decision is finalized, a proposal can be moved between rejected and approved without the PI being notified. When a rejection is finalized or the proposal is approved by the JGI PMO, the PI will see the status change from submitted to approved or rejected. When a proposal is submitted for your lab, you will receive an email like this. The email will include the title of the proposal, the PI's name, as well as a link to the proposal in WIP. When you log into WIP to review proposals, this is the page that you will see. It includes the ID of the proposal, the title, the name of the PI, the current status, as well as a link to the proposal. Any of the headers in the table can be double-clicked to sort the table by that column. You can also change the number of proposals per page with the Show Entries drop-down. These buttons allow you to change the page, and the search box allows you to search the table. Once you have located the proposal you want, you can click the View button to begin your review. Clicking a proposal's view link on the BRC Proposals page will allow you to review that proposal. You can see the title, ID, current status, PI name and email address, as well as the associated lab. You can also see a number of sections that can be hidden, or shown together, or individually. This includes organisms for the proposal, estimated number of samples, collaborator information, supporting files including a link to download the file, as well as a summary of the proposal including overview and justification of scope. This also includes JGI product catalog selections. At the bottom you can see the history for the proposal including the date, creator, and notes for any events. Click the add a comment button to attach a note to the proposal. Enter your text, Click the Save button and the comment will be added to the proposal. Here you can see the comment was added to the proposal. The history section for the proposal, including the events and notes for those events, are only visible to reviewers for a BRC and the JGI Project Management Office. They are not visible to the PI for a proposal. If a proposal is submitted with errors or omissions that need to be corrected by the PI, we can unsubmit the proposal to allow them to make changes. In this case, the sequencing of resources requested in special needs field was not properly filled out, so we will click unsubmit proposal and enter an explanation that will be emailed to the PI. Click save and the email will be sent and the proposal will be unsubmitted. Once it has been unsubmitted, the PI will see that they can edit their proposal. They can go into the proposal, make their changes, and when they are finished, they can resubmit the proposal. After reviewing the proposal, you can approve it by clicking the Approve button at the bottom of the proposal. If you choose to, you can add a note to the approval. 
Again, these will only be seen by the JGI Project Management Office and reviewers for your BRC. At this point, the proposal is marked as approved both in the status and in the history below. Looking back at the workflow diagram, you can see that once you've approved the proposal, you still have the option to reject it. You are free to move a proposal from approved to rejected or from rejected to approved until you finalize your decision. The PI will not see these changes. They will only see the end result of either being approved or rejected. As you can see, we can still reject the proposal, but in this case, we are going to finalize the approval and notify the JGI. The next window shows the email that will be sent to the JGI Project Management Office when you finalize the approval. You can do so by clicking Save, or you can edit the boilerplate text to customize the message. You can now see that the proposal is marked as being forwarded to the JGI, both in the status and in the history below. Going back to the PI's view of the proposal, you can see that it is marked as being submitted. It will continue to be marked as submitted until the JGI Project Management Office has finished their review. If we look at a proposal that we wish to reject, we can see that like approval, it is a two-step process. First, the proposal is marked as being rejected. Then you can finalize the rejection and notify the PI. Similar to finalizing approval, a default email is generated to notify the PI. You can finalize the rejection by clicking Save sending the email as is, or you can edit the email if you wish. At this point, an email has been sent to the PI notifying them of the rejection. Looking back at the PI's view of the proposal, we can see that it is now marked as rejected. So that concludes this webcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email JGI support plus WIP at lbl.gov. You can find WIP at proposals.jgi-psf.org. WIPcast is brought to you by the Department of Energy Joint Genome Institute and the JGI PMO Services Team.